Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. People keep diaries at Marvel, and the Avengers are dumbfounded. Chapter 36. Appeared. Inside Shield. Looking at the fourth diary, new characters appeared again. Nick Fury opened his private record without any hesitation. In this private record, the characters that appear in the first three diaries are recorded. The record is divided into three parts. The confirmed characters are Tony Stark, Steve Rogers, Bruce Banner, Kaylin Tay Barton. Then two new characters were added, Wanda and Pietro. In the undetermined column are Thor, Loki, Ant Man. The column for the villain reads Kong the Conqueror, Celestial Group, Ultron. Compared with the fourth diary, Nick Fury started adding names again. Added Olivia Temple, Su Che's so called old enemy, to the villain's column. That's right, Nick Fury has subconsciously determined that Su Che is the superhero. Therefore, his old enemy is naturally the supervillain. At the same time, there were a few more names in the villain column. Dormammu, Nightmare. After recording the names of villains who threatened the Earth, Nick Fury hesitated for a moment, and then wrote the name of the Supreme Mage Ancient One on the undetermined column. At the same time, the words of the real dimension Asgardian were added after the name of Ancient One. After finishing these, Nick Fury began to think. Who is the Asgardian in the real dimension, the Supreme Mage Ancient One? Judging from the tone of voice recorded in Su Che's diary, he seems to respect this Supreme Mage very much. Asgardian himself can understand, what does the dimension of reality mean? This refers to the dimensional space where the Earth exists. In addition, the title of Ancient One Mage is Supreme Mage. So it can be understood that there are many mages under her, him. As the Master of S.H.I.E.L.D., Nick Fury knows that there are not only superpowers on Earth, but also a large number of aliens. It is also included in S.H.I.E.L.D. There are even vampires in Legendary. But now, there is another group of mage. And looking at the diary written by Su Che, this group of mage should be led by the Supreme Mage Ancient One. Has been silently guarding the Earth. So what's the difference between mage and necromancer? After all, I have come into contact with people like necromancers and witches. What was written in Su Che's diary should not be people like witches. Tisk. It seems that it is not only Aegis and Spear who guard the earth. Now, there's another mage team. Really. More and more interesting. Come to think of it, Nick Fury slid private records to big events. The so-called big events are the big events extracted and analyzed by Nick Fury in Su Che's diary. Including the records in the diary, the beginning of the beginning of this world was the kidnapping of Tony Stark. Steve Rogers and Winter Soldier, Hydra event. In the Ultron event, the Conqueror Kong united with the Celestial Group to destroy the Earth event. After thinking about it, Nick Fury recorded the incident between Su Che and Olivia Temple, the Balrog, who claims to be the Messenger of God. At the same time, the events of Supreme Mage Ancient One, Dormammu and Nightmare were recorded. Looking at just four diaries, so many events are recorded. Nick Fury leaned back on the seat and shook his head helplessly. What a disaster ridden earth indeed. There are only four diaries, and I already know so much, including the destruction of the earth. An inexplicable sense of urgency arises spontaneously. It seems that I have to speed up the speed of forming Avengers. I don't know when Steve Rogers, the legendary hero, will be discovered. At the same time, the parking lot recorded in Su Che's diary. Sir, only one bullet casing and a pistol were found at the scene. Judging from the movement trajectory of the bullet casing, it should be used by the attacker. The S.H.I.E.L.D. agent in charge of investigating the scene reports to Maria Hill standing in front of a battered car. Other than that, no traces of the use of thermal weapons, including firearms, were found. In addition, the corpse on the ground is obviously a mummy, and judging from the dryness and dehydration, it should be relatively old and well-preserved. It's like a new one. However, the specific age of the mummy needs to be brought back for retesting. As for this car, looking at the simple analysis report in his hand, the shield agent said, Sir, the car body is riddled with holes, which looks like it was left when it was pierced by bullets. But according to the file size analysis of the bullet hole, it should not be a firearm of any model. Listening to the analysis of the investigators she brought over, Maria Hill nodded, is there surveillance around? No sir, 
This parking lot has been built for more than 10 years, and although there are many apartments nearby, but very few people use this car park, so there is no surveillance facility in the surrounding area. Speaking of which, the shield inspector hesitated for a moment. Explain. Looking at the hesitation of the inspectors, Maria Hill said directly. Sir, based on the detection of the vehicle that was attacked, we found that the vehicle was penetrated. Ordinary bullets simply cannot penetrate the vehicle directly with every shot. At the same time, there is no second bottom shell in the entire parking lot, and we have also used a detection machine to analyze some water in the gaps between vehicles. It's as if the car was riddled with holes because it was penetrated by very thin weapons made of water. However, I always feel that this test is too bizarre, not whether water can cause such a large destructive power. After all, when the water is compressed to the extreme, its power is terrifying. But to achieve this effect, I'm afraid. Listening to what the inspector said, Maria Hill nodded. File, bring the car and the mummy back to Shield for detailed analysis. Yes, sir. After hearing Maria Hill's order, Shield inspectors begin execution immediately. In the desert, in a certain cave. If you don't even have a chance to live, then there's no point in talking about anything. Pass the mashed potatoes to Tony Stark. Looking at Tony, who was looking sluggish at the moment, Ethan said with a smile. They won't let me go. As a result, Tony Stark was not in the mood to eat the mashed potatoes that Ethan handed over. Thinking back to the day, those guys hung themselves upside down and immersed themselves in the water again and again. This painful torture made Tony Stark unable to lift any spirits. You're right, they won't let you go. Picking up the mashed potatoes in his bowl, Ethan pushed his glasses, for them, those who are useful live, those who are not useful are killed, and they are thrown into the desert without even needing to be buried. So if you want to keep going, you want to wait for the miracle of rescue to happen. Then I suggest that you'd better dismiss the idea. I admit that you are rich and know many people of high status. But this is a desert, and the vast desert is extremely secretive. I guess you will die before they find you. Speaking of this, Ethan suddenly looked up at Tony Stark and said, why don't you tell me that your first girlfriend is a honey badger agent? Anyway, Chong Yi is very lonely in the desert, so it's better to have a chat. Listening to Ethan's words, Tony Stark lowered his head and kept stirring the mashed potatoes in the iron bowl with a spoon. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw the car battery connected to his body. After thinking for a while, he suddenly raised his head and looked at Ethan, what if we want to rely on our own strength to escape? Then I suggest you hold on and live every day. Wait until the patience of those guys is exhausted. You're agreeing to help them make the Jericho missile, and maybe survive for an extra month or two. Listening to Tony Stark talk like a dream, Ethan scooped a spoonful of mashed potatoes and said while eating, If you can help me, Ethan, then I'll have a way to get the two of us out of this place. Staring at Ethan in front of him with scorching eyes, this is the only person he can trust in this place. At the same time, in a temporary tent in the desert. Sir, how long are we going to last here? After spitting out the sand in his mouth, a shield agent complained to Phil Coulson, Sir, although this is not the jurisdiction of our shield. But to save a Tony Stark, you don't need to mobilize any more power. We have enough people. And, sir, you have also seen that this group of people tortured Tony Stark a lot during the day. It's been more than a month. I'm worried that if this continues, this Tony Stark who has never experienced this will not be able to persist. Hearing what the team members said, Phil Coulson shook his head, wait for the order. Our order is that if Tony Stark's life is not in danger, then everything depends on him. This is an order from Mr. Director. After finishing speaking, Phil Coulson couldn't help spitting. In this windy and sandy place, it's hard not to eat a mouthful of sand. Listening to Phil Coulson, the player shrugged. The officer said so, so they can only continue to eat sand and blow cold wind here. Watching the players leave, Phil Coulson hesitated for a while. Then he took out his mobile phone and called Nick Fury. Shield. Inside Nick Fury's office. Keep waiting, don't worry about the rest. Listening to Phil Coulson's inquiry on the other end of the phone, Nick Fury decisively asked him to continue guarding there with his people. As for whether Tony Stark can escape, and whether he can become the superhero recorded in Suche's diary. Nick Fury is very confident now. 
It's not that Nick Fury now trusts 100% what's written in the diary. It's the members of Phil Coulson's team, isn't it just his back card for Tony Stark? Anyway, as long as Tony Stark's life is not in danger, let him make trouble on his own first. Even if it is a bit of hardship, as long as you can come back alive. Then it is the best explanation for Ms. Page. After hanging up the phone, Nick Fury looked at the report analysis sent by Maria Hill. You suggest raising sus danger level to the most advanced. Yes Nick. Facing Nick Fury's inquiry, Maria Hill said seriously, although I don't know if this is all the abilities of that Su Che, or a single ability. But he alone can turn a living attacker into a mummified corpse. And the fact that you can use the power of water at will to turn an intact car into a riddle. I thought he was very dangerous. After all, water is everywhere in life, which means that there are weapons he can use everywhere. Even he was originally a humanoid weapon. Speaking of this, Maria Hill's expression remained unchanged, and from the fact that he can turn a living attacker into a mummy. As long as he is willing, then anyone who faces him has no chance to react. Unless it's a robot, an adult's body is more than 70% water. This is equivalent to killing a city or even a country at any time if he wants. Although it is not certain, since he can use the moisture in the human body to turn it into a mummy. Then is it possible that he can also use the moisture contained in the air? If this conjecture is correct, then. Nick, I think you should know how dangerous he is. Maria Hill has a point. In fact, if Su Che really wanted to. Then as long as you appear in front of him, it doesn't matter whether it's the army or others. Su Che can destroy it immediately. The power of water is soft, but equally terrifying. Su Che can use a drop of water at will to make a car full of holes. So what if Su Che wants to, and fully exerts his true power? How much moisture is there in the air? How much water is there on earth? When it comes to harm, Su Che has the ability to flood the city, or even flood the earth. Definitely, it's not like Su Che is invincible now. That's just the level of danger. Unless Su Che hides directly in the deep sea, a single mushroom egg can turn Su Che into ashes. One bullet could end Su Che's life even without precaution. Huh, etc. When Su Che acquired this ability, the water pressure, breathing, and even resistance of the seabed did not exist for Su Che. Does that mean that Su Che is invincible as long as he is in the bottomless sea? After all, even the explosion of a mushroom egg cannot harm Su Che at the bottom of the water. Tisk, the false Aquaman, who can only use the trident to stop the water riot. Then he was tied up with a lasso of mantra and spoke the shameful truth. The real Aquaman can transform the moisture in the air into a huge amounts of tsunami with just a wave of his hand. It even flooded the earth, making the nose arc thing a reality. Um, Aquaman no, civilized you and me. I agree with you. Listen to the analysis of Maria Hill in front of you. Nick Fury nodded. So, what's your conclusion? I have no idea. Facing Nick Fury's inquiry, Maria Hill was silent for a moment. Then he shook his head. I don't know how to treat him either. The last one who made us so helpless was Dr. Bruce Banner who turned into a green titan because of gamma rays. It's just that for Dr. Bruce Banner, we are not really helpless, we just can't use it. But the method of dealing with Dr. Bruce Banner will definitely not work for Su Che. After all, if you lock him in an airtight jar and throw him into the bottom of the sea, maybe it will become Su's home field instead. However, Su Che is not without weaknesses, but only if. No. Hearing Hill's words, Nick Fury shook his head immediately, Su is not our enemy, Hill. And what you said and thought, do you want to pay for the whole of New York? What's more, even if we can afford this price, are you sure you can really destroy Su? You still underestimate him. Then what should we do? Let's just leave him alone. Listening to Nick Fury's words, Maria Hill remained expressionless. Who said he was left alone? Didn't you see that I've sent Natasha Romanoff with him? Not to mention, I sent him the twins Wanda and Pietro. I don't get it, Nick, it's the same as Sue. Hill, if you get the chance in the future, then you'll know. Looking at Hill, Nick Fury showed a rare smile in S.H.I.E.L.D. Sometimes, emotions are always better than weapons. Definitely, I can't tell you the specifics. Okay, anyway, you are the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Since you think there is a way, then I have no objection. 
Glancing at the time, it was almost 12 o'clock in the evening. Maria Hill stood up and said to Nick Fury, I'm going to rest. Go. Watching Hill turn and leave, Nick Fury stopped her again. When Hill turned around, Nick Fury smiled and said, do me a favor, don't report things about Su Che to those guys from the World Security Council. Good. Without the slightest hesitation, Maria Hill nodded and turned to leave. Nick Fury takes care of the planet more than anyone else. So, no reporting, no reporting. Since he is confident, he doesn't have to guess too much. Watching Hill leave, he also closed the office door for himself very intimately. Nick Fury picked up his phone and sent Natasha Romanoff a text message. Then he opened his private record and raised the danger level of the column related to Su Che to the highest level. At the same time, a sentence is also remarked at the back. Once Su Che has dangerous tendencies or ideas, destroy them at all costs. If necessary, you can plant mushroom eggs on him. Yeah, don't look at what Nick Fury swears by Hill. However, for someone like Su Che who has the ability to destroy a city, or even the earth, Nick Fury can't trust 100%. Even if, even his last hole card, the Captain Marvel Carl Luo, Nick Fury has prepared means to deal with her. Tesseract, including studying one of Tesseract's purposes for creating weapons. It's not just about dealing with aliens. Definitely, this point, or this dark mind, only he himself knows. 100%, trust a person without reservation. There is absolutely no way Nick Fury can do it. My name is Natasha Romanoff Romanoff, an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Tauhul in cafe, the next morning. Sit across from Su Che. Holding coffee in both hands, Natasha Romanoff introduced herself to Su Che with a smile. That's right, although Natasha Romanoff knew, Su Che had already recognized herself the first day she saw her. But as the holder of the black gold diary, Natasha Romanoff knew that Su Che knew herself. But he still has to pretend not to know, Su Che knows his own affairs. This logic is not messy, at least Natasha Romanoff believes that Su Che does not know about the diary holder. Therefore, some introductions are necessary. Your expression is very calm, you don't even have any fluctuations in your eyes. Holding the coffee, Su Che didn't show any surprise after watching himself introduce himself. Natasha Romanoff laughed. While sending Wanda and Pietro to school this morning, I was thinking about what if I would introduce myself to you. Then what would your reaction be? I've thought about your various expressions, whether it's surprise, doubt, or anger. But now it seems that you are so calm as if you knew it in advance. This is a normal conversation. It's a dialogue that fits the first demagogue. At least, this is in line with Natasha Romanoff's intention to hide that she is the holder of the black gold diary and does not know that Su Che knows her. Last night Nick Fury texted her so that she could tell Su Che about her identity today. The purpose is to help Su Che legitimately and brightly. Go spy on jewelry stores all over New York. After all, Su Che wrote that diary entry yesterday, and Tony Stark helped him with this kind of thing before. So in Nick Fury's view, since Tony Stark has not become the so-called superhero, then the monitoring of the whole city should be done by S.H.I.E.L.D. Help a superhero. This is what S.H.I.E.L.D. should do. So what if you want the other party to do things for you without giving sweetness? If you want to take it first, you must give it first, this is the attitude of doing things. No surprise there either. Looking at Natasha Romanoff in front of him, Su Che said indifferently, do you still remember half a month ago when you took me to the shooting range? Definitely, that's when you discovered my identity. It's about the same. After all, it's not just a random person who can pass 13 bullets through the same bullet hole. Putting down the black coffee in his hand, Su Che looked at Natasha Romanoff who blew her identity in front of her. Then he asked, did you come to my coffee shop to spy on me, or to perform a mission? Neither. Natasha Romanoff, who had already made up the reason, leaned on the seat and smiled. Every time I finish the task, I like to change my identity and experience a different life. On the one hand, it eliminates the negative emotions of stress and tasks. On the other hand, it makes me feel that I am a living person, not a task machine. This is also the reason for coming to your Tauhulan cafe. It can only be called a coincidence. It's just that I didn't expect that you are not from common. 
Holding the coffee cup in one hand, Natasha Romanoff's bright red lips tasted it slightly. Sure enough, I still can't adapt to black coffee without sugar. If I had known earlier, I would not have ordered the same coffee as Su Che because of the so-called identity psychology. There was a fight in the parking lot of the apartment you were in yesterday. To be precise, it should be a unilateral suppression. You can actually turn Renren, who was alive one second, into a mummy the next second. Tisk, do you know how frightened our shield inspectors were when the test results came out? So you're here to catch me. Looking at Natasha Romanoff, Suche's indifferent smile remained unchanged. There was even a flash of interest in the originally melancholy eyes. It seemed as if he was deliberately teasing her. I silently remembered Su Che's look in my heart. Natasha Romanoff shrugged and said, definitely didn't come here to catch you. In fact, you don't seem to care about being arrested by S.H.I.E.L.D. The real purpose of my coming here today is to find out what happened yesterday afternoon. Su, although we have only been in contact for a short month, I think we are already friends. As a friend, I believe that you are definitely not the kind of villain who abuses super abilities. I have seen many people who commit all kinds of crimes, and I have also seen many people who kill and even eat people. But no matter what the reason is, you are different from them. I want to figure out what happened yesterday afternoon, and I want to help you. So, can you tell me, what exactly happened yesterday afternoon? Trust me, I mean it. With that said, Natasha Romanoff hesitated for a while, and then said softly, if I can't investigate clearly what happened yesterday afternoon. Then you, the person involved, may really be wanted by S.H.I.E.L.D. Maybe you don't know what S.H.I.E.L.D. stands for, but I believe you don't want to see the consequences of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s orders. Listening to Natasha Romanoff was clearly threatening, but her tone was not even half-threatening. Instead, there was an extra tone of sincere desire to help. Su Che picked up his coffee and said with a smile, Thank you, but there are some things that you can't handle, or even accept. And to correct you, the guy who turned into a mummy yesterday afternoon is not a human being. To be precise, it should be a humanoid monster. Secondly, I don't trust your so-called shield. And I don't need help. I can handle my own affairs. If the shield behind you has the ability to catch me, then let them come over and try. Just right, I haven't moved my muscles for a long time. Well, I wrote it all in my diary, and I don't trust the current shield. In the minds of Nick Fury and Natasha Romanoff, they don't think they know the secret of the diary. So make every choice yourself. You have to keep the personality you wrote. So, are we talking about it? Looking at Su Che, Natasha Romanoff frowned and asked while holding a coffee cup in both hands. It counts. Then, can I continue to work in your coffee shop? Blinking his eyes, the serious expression suddenly disappeared. As if playing face changing, Natasha Romanoff immediately put on a pitiful, please don't fire me, expression. In the face of the last second, I still want to help you, S.H.I.E.L.D. is very powerful, you and S.H.I.E.L.D. will have a serious expression that you will regret. In the next second, it turned into a cute and pitiful appearance. Su Che couldn't laugh or cry in his heart. It's already, disgust, but you still want to, work, here. Moreover, how did you manage to act cute and pitiful in front of a man five years younger than you? Tisk, can you only say that you are a trained professional agent? Even the expressions are so professional. But let alone, the widow sister, who is at the peak of her appearance, is acting cute and pitiful. It's really, pretty beautiful. I can't remember how many times Pepper Potts has come to my coffee shop. Since Tony was kidnapped, except for the first few days, Pipo came every day for the next month. And not very willing to leave. In her words, during the period when Tony was kidnapped, she felt oppressed in Stark Industries. But the fact is that she gave herself this depression. After all, more than a month has passed since Tony Stark was kidnapped. Whether it is the outside media, Stark Industries employees, or even members of the Stark Industries board of directors, they have given up hope that Tony can come back alive. However, only she hasn't given up yet. So, in the camp that has given up hope, as the only one who is still looking for hope, how can it be possible not to be depressed? So during this period of time, she would rather stay in my coffee shop and chat with me about things than go back to Stark Industries. Although the fifth diary seems to be written in small talk. 
but both Natasha Romanoff and Nick Fury paid more attention to this diary. Nothing else, because they can analyze Su Che's emotions with the help of this diary, through this seemingly chatty diary. Su Che's mood is important to Nick Fury. Even how to appease Su Che, how to make Su Che increase his sense of identity with their world. Even blending into this world, treating this world as his world. This is extremely important to Nick Fury. Especially after getting to know Su Che's ability again, and even suspecting that Su Che's strength is only a small part. Nick Fury takes Su Che more seriously. The world needs a hero, a superhero who can stand up on the eve of destruction and save the world. Not to mention, Su Che is also the Avenger of the Parallel World, a superhero who has protected the Earth for more than 10 years. Whether it is his firm belief for more than 10 years, or his cognition of all major events related to the Earth in the future. The importance of this to their world is self-evident. It was like being among the three who got the Black Gold Diary from the very beginning. After reading the first diary, Nick Fury, the king of agents who has always doubted everything, is the most trusted person among the three diary holders. Because, whether it is Avengers, a concept super team that has ideas but has not yet been proposed. I was still shocked by the strong sense of despair in that diary. Nick Fury hopes that what this diary writes is true. Although the idea is nasty. But if everything recorded in the diary is true, then even though the parallel world has been destroyed. But their world will have one more superhero who is determined, full of faith, able to protect the earth, and has a clear understanding of the future. That's what Nick Fury needs most. The earth has never been safe, Nick Fury has a clear understanding of this. For Su Che, it can be said that in Nick Fury's heart, the importance of Su Che has far exceeded that of other superheroes who have not yet appeared. Therefore, what Nick Fury hopes to see most is that Su Che can regenerate emotions with other, former comrades in arms. In order to slowly integrate into this world. That's why Nick Fury sent Natasha Romanoff to approach Su Che. In the same way, this is also after Nick Fury saw in the diary that Wanda was his wife in the parallel world. Rather change the future than directly bring back the Wanda Pietro twins. As long as Su Che can integrate into this world, form a bond with this world, become a part of this world, and become a superhero who guards this world. Well, whatever it takes, Nick Fury thinks it's worth it. So when you see what is described in the diary, the fifth diary is more like some daily life. There are many reasons why Nick Fury will be at ease in his heart. After all, compared to seeing the diary in the corner of the future, he would rather see a Su Che whose mentality is gradually calming down. Which one is the most important, the best for the world, Nick Fury knows very clearly. Well, Nick Fury knows that well. But that doesn't mean other people know it well. Like Wanda right now. Looking at the description in the diary, I can't wait to stay in Peebo in Tauhulan Cafe every day. An inexplicable sourness rose in my heart. Although Sue is just her husband in a parallel world. But when I think of other women running into Tauhulan Cafe every day. Talk and laugh with my future husband every day. Wanda felt irritated for no reason. How could this be so? That is my future husband, what are you trying to do in front of him every day? But when I thought about it, I was only 14 years old now, and I was only 15 years old in more than a month. Wanda was a little discouraged. When can I grow up? On the sofa. Watching and listening to Wanda's constantly changing expressions and small movements. Natasha Romanoff definitely knew what she was thinking. He raised his hand and rubbed Wanda's head with a smile. Natasha Romanoff is going to wait until after reading this diary, and then comfort this girl who is more mature, but still unable to escape the cranky thinking that should be at this age. It's like seeing Obadiah stand on TV today, the person whom Tony regards as an uncle, said in front of the media. Same as when it was time to get Tony back at all costs. Both Pipo and I have mocking eyes. Pipo saw Obadiah Stan and Tony being kidnapped, and he has been fighting for power and profit, wanting to make his position go to a higher place. Even making Stark Industries his. But what I saw was an old fox who planned to kidnap Tony Stark, but pretended to be innocent and outraged in front of others. Oh, right. Perhaps one of the hatreds for the death of Wanda and Pietro's parents can also be placed on him. After all, many weapons from Stark Industries, including the missile that destroyed the Wanda family in Sokovia, 
were all secretly sold by him through his private channels without telling Stark Industries. See this sentence. Wanda's little tangled expression changed instantly. Obadiah Stein is the CEO of Stark Industries, a member of the board of directors, and the current president of Stark Industries. Looking at the look on Wanda's face, Natasha Romanoff definitely knew what she was thinking. In fact, Natasha Romanoff also knows about Wanda's life experience, so she also understands the resentment towards Wanda. In fact, since the death of Mr. Howard Stark and his wife, Ms. Maria, Tony Stark has been in the care of Obadiah Stein. Obadiah Stein is responsible for the normal operation and business dealings of the Stark industry. Tony Stark is only responsible for researching the weapons needed by the Stark industry. It can be said that the combination of these two people is very suitable. One is not willing to manage the business, but only likes to study things and enjoy life, and is a playboy. And the other is obsessed with the control of Stark Industries. Looking at Wanda, Natasha Romanoff said seriously, So, for what Sue wrote in his diary, those who bombed your homeland and killed your parents. I'm afraid it really will be Obadiah Stein's fault. After all, according to his status in Stark Industries, it is easy for him to seek personal gain and use private channels to sell weapons. Listen to Natasha Romanoff say that. There was a glint of gloom in Wanda's eyes, but even if the culprit is Obadiah Stein, that Tony Stark is still involved. Who made the missile that made us lose our parents? Hearing what Wanda said, Natasha Romanoff shrugged, but did not refute. Wanda can say this subconsciously. This proves that she has 100% trust in what Sue wrote in the diary. This also indirectly proves that the little girl Wanda has a very unusual feeling for Sue. It reminds me of the time when Pipo stayed in the coffee shop every day during the period I just read, and didn't want to face the depressing office. A look of unnaturalness flashed across Wanda's expression. Tisk. Seeing that Wanda really developed feelings for Sue through the diary. In other words, she really regarded Sue as her future husband. Well, leave that layer aside. Just talk about the relationship between Obadiah Stein and Tony Stark. The original purpose of knife manufacturers is to produce kitchen knives for cutting vegetables, which is convenient for people's lives. But if someone uses a vegetable knife to kill someone, can the knife manufacturer be blamed? The answer is obvious. But sometimes, the facts are true but the words cannot. At least, these words should not be said by myself. I am not qualified to persuade Wanda myself. Who told me that I was not clean either? When I was in the Red House, I made a lot of blood debts in order to survive. During the period of escaping from the Red House, how many innocent people were injured by bombing the hospital by himself and causing bloodshed? A person with a bloody debt and hands full of sins is not qualified to persuade others. Even if he can get the so-called salvation. But that doesn't mean you're clean. Looking at Wanda's gloomy little face, Natasha Romanoff stretched out his arms to hug Wanda, as if silently comforting a little sister. Her fate is very bitter, but why is she not? So, what's going on? Pietro, who came out of the bedroom, was again at 10 o'clock in the evening. Saw the picture of Natasha Romanoff and Wanda hugging each other. What a scene of deja vu. No, you women have so many whispers every night that you can't let others know. Why did I go out to the bathroom twice and see the same picture twice? Etc. This Natasha Romanoff, who became the guardian of herself and Wanda, can't be a lesbian. After all, Natasha Romanoff is so pretty and has such a good figure. But I never heard that she had a boyfriend. Thinking of the future, my sister, Wanda said to herself one day. She decides to marry Natasha Romanoff in the future and spend the rest of her life together. Pietro shivered subconsciously. No wonder Natasha Romanoff became her and Wanda's guardian. It turned out that she had a crush on Wanda, so she wanted to cultivate a relationship in advance to start. What are you thinking about? He turned his head and looked at Pietro who was standing not far from the sofa, who was thinking wildly at the moment. Wanda, who had a gloomy expression, immediately put away her expression and asked Pietro, why are you still sleeping so late? I'm going to go to the bathroom, you guys. Before Pietro finished speaking, Wanda said softly, since you are going to the bathroom, what are you doing there? Hurry up, go to bed after you're done, you have to go to school tomorrow. Okay. Hearing what Wanda said, Pietro nodded subconsciously, then you too. 
Before he could finish speaking, he saw the look in Wanda's hand. Um, go to the bathroom cleanly, wash your hands and go to bed after using the toilet. When passing by the living room, I glanced at Wanda and Natasha Romanoff who were whispering. Pietro hesitated for a moment, then quietly returned to his room. Turn off the light and lie on the bed looking at the ceiling. Pietro, who was still a little sleepy at first, now has no sleepiness with his eyes open. Natasha Romanoff likes girls. She actually likes women. And he also set his target on his own sister. How could she do this? Thinking back to just now, Natasha Romanoff put his arm around his sister's shoulders. And Wanda leaned on her very, obediently. Thinking of this scene, Pietro felt a little irritable. I heard from the teachers at the school that the Organization for the Protection of Minors here is very strong. If you encounter domestic violence problems or feel threatened, you can go to them. So can I ask them for help? But, why did Wanda not resist at all, but acted willingly? God, Wanda can't really be bent by Natasha Romanoff. If so, Wanda really likes Natasha Romanoff too. Then find that organization to forcibly separate Natasha Romanoff and Wanda. Doing so will surely make Wanda die of grief. I know very well how much Wanda longs for a complete family. Lie on the bed and thump twice. Pietro was very irritable at the moment. At the age of 14, he likes to think wildly. In this night, completely insomnia. Add another pair of horns. Picture the horns on Loki's helmet, and the horns on the head of the fiery titan searcher. Su Che added a pair of red thumb file size horns to Olivia Temple, the enemy, whose image is being set up in the system. Well, it is also the pioneer of the planet devourer. Other people's silver surfers can have metallic silver all over their bodies, and they can fly into the sky on a skateboard. The Olivia Temple I created couldn't be so ordinary, could it? Looking at the height of 3 meters, it seems that there is dark brown magma flowing all over the body. Su Che nodded in satisfaction. Just this size, plus dark red's evil eyes, and devil-like sharp horns on his head. Anyone who sees it and doesn't think it's an evil villain. System, I remember that in the mission, every time I kill the Olivia temple I created, I will get an ability, right? Then the first time I killed it, what ability did I get? Looking at the system creation page, whether it is image, ability, or others, they are all enemies and villains created by themselves. Su Che asked the system in satisfaction. The first time you kill the enemy, Olivia Temple, you will get one of the two rewards. 1. The Body of Superman, Advanced Defense Version. 2. Cyclops Advanced Version. Su Che asked casually, but unexpectedly the system actually gave an answer. Looking at the rewards given by the system, Su Che's eyes lit up instantly. Although the ability of Cyclops is also very strong. But, there is really no first reward incense. Even if, the first reward is just an advanced defense version of Superman's body. What do you lack most now? It is a super defensive physique that can withstand bullets, bomb mushroom eggs, etc. The attacker of Hydra in Sokovia last time, if he hadn't perceived himself as in danger. I'm afraid a bullet will really take me away. Now, with this reward. Although it is only a defensive version of Superman's body, not all of Superman's abilities. But, in other words, doesn't it mean that he is at least full in defense? Don't forget, with this defense advanced version of Superman's body. From then on, I don't have to worry about danger, I can use the diary editing system to set up a superhero persona to convince the diary holder. So you can use other super abilities with peace of mind. Click on the rewards of the system with a hint of excitement. Block the second Cyclops option without any hesitation, and clicked on the reward of Superman Body. Soon, a detailed introduction to Superman's Body, Advanced Defense Edition, appeared in front of Su Che. System Note The advanced version of Superman's Body Defense, exempt from all physical rules and magic damage, at the same time, there is no need to worry about the weakening caused by Kryptonite. Note the body of Superman only increases the defense mechanism, and does not mean that he can obtain all the abilities of Superman. To obtain other abilities, the host still needs to work hard. Seeing the simple introduction of the system, Su Che's heart was filled with enthusiasm. The advanced defense version of Superman's body is much stronger than the original Superman's body. 
You must know that in DC Comics, although Superman's Iron Man is very strong, it has a fatal weakness. That's kryptonite. Both Batman and Zod used kryptonite to weaken and then defeat Superman. Most importantly, the original Superman's Iron Man was not immune to magical interference. It has appeared more than once in DC's comics. Dachau was intruded by the enemy's magic and even bewitched his mind. Therefore, whether it is Zatanna or Za Kong, that group of demon mage is one of the group of people that Dachau least likes to confront. But now, the reward he got after killing, Olivia Temple. You can directly get the advanced version, which can be called the perfect version of Superman's body. Well, with this advanced version of the full body of Superman's body defense, when the self-defense is full. From then on, I no longer have to worry about attacks and dangers. Coupled with the diary editing reward, Natasha Romanoff's trust value reached over 90%, and she gained 10 times the physical fitness of an ordinary person's peak. And other abilities. It can be said that in the near future, John Lai, I am afraid that he will really become an existence that can single out Galactus. Thinking of this, Su Che began to think about how to stage the big event he created. The early foreshadowing is enough, and the next step is to launch the enemy, Olivia Temple from the system. At the same time, it must be beheaded. It must not be the kind of incident that can kill but not kill. This is not only disgusting, but more importantly, it will be discovered by Nick Fury and others. This is not in line with the means of a villain who has more than 10 years of Avenger career and is, threat to the earth. In the face of savable innocent people, it is definitely necessary to save. But in the face of villains who have the ability to threaten the earth, or even destroy it. It should be decisive. This is what a qualified earth Asgardian should do. Thinking of this, Su Che began to think about how to invest in things that would convince him and maximize his benefits. Presumably, based on what I recorded in the fourth diary, Nick Fury should have sent someone to monitor jewelry stores all over New York. Well, I have to use it to bring the widow sister into the situation I set up. Without letting them see it with their own eyes, how can they improve their trust in the diary and refresh other new abilities? Early the next morning. Did you not sleep well last night? Looking at Pietro, who came out of the wash, with some heavy eye circles. Wanda sat at the dining table and asked Pietro. It counts. Looking at Wanda, Pietro hesitated for a moment, then shook his head and sat on the dining table. In the kitchen, Natasha Romanoff, who came over with breakfast, sat at the table and added an extra hard-boiled egg to the plate in front of Wanda and Pietro. You are growing up, you should eat more. Only by absorbing enough nutrients can the body develop fully. Hearing what Natasha Romanoff said, Pietro struggled for a moment, then nodded. Wanda looked up at Natasha Romanoff instead. Thinking back to what I felt when I leaned on Natasha Romanoff to read Sue's diary last night. Subconsciously, he lowered his head and looked at his somewhat flat place. Then his eyes lit up, he smiled sweetly at Natasha Romanoff, and picked up the eggs and ate them. Seeing Wanda's delicious food, he tentatively sent the boiled egg on his plate to Wanda's plate. Then I saw that Wanda started to eat without any hesitation. It's over, as expected, my guess has come true. Pietro, who had been secretly watching Wanda from the corner of his eye just now, was more certain of his guess last night. You must know that although Wanda is not a picky eater, she doesn't like to eat chicken and boiled eggs that much. On the contrary, if there is a choice of food, then Wanda will never touch boiled eggs. But now, just after she handed over her boiled egg, Wanda ate it without hesitation. What does this mean? Prove that your guess is true. Wanda has really fallen and been bent, she really likes Natasha Romanoff. This is absolutely true, otherwise, according to Wanda's personality, she would definitely tell herself to eat her own boiled eggs. But now, Wanda isn't just eating her share of hard-boiled eggs. He even ate the boiled egg that he handed over. Isn't this the best proof? Because, Natasha Romanoff gets up early to cook boiled eggs. Pietro's brainstorming continued, but Natasha Romanoff looked at Wanda eating boiled eggs with the same smile on his face. Just now Wanda's immature body was compared with her own. What she was thinking, she definitely knew. But Natasha Romanoff is not going to tell Wanda that eating eggs won't make her bigger. After breakfast, Natasha Romanoff drove Wanda and Pietro to school. Along the way, 
Pietro sat in the back row and was very tangled. Wait until you get off the bus and enter the school gate. After watching Natasha Romanoff leave, Wanda suddenly said to Pietro, Tell me, what are you struggling with? Ah, Pietro, who was still immersed in his own thoughts, suddenly heard Wanda's inquiry and subconsciously looked at Wanda. Pietro, I'm your older sister. We grew up together. We suffer from insomnia and entanglement. Do you think I can't see it? Nor. Dot not. Looking at Wanda who stared at him with burning eyes. Pietro hesitated for a while, and then whispered to Wanda, Wanda, although you have always claimed to be my sister, I think you know that I am actually the big brother. It's just, I want to say that I thought about it all night, and finally I still think, as long as you can feel happy. You know, as long as you can feel happy, that's enough. Looking at it, he took a deep breath, and then he was very serious about himself, saying these confusing words. Wanda raised her hand and tapped Pietro's head. What are you thinking about all day? No, it's your choice for the other half, and I definitely support it. Looking at Wanda, Pietro said seriously, We are siblings, whoever you like is your freedom. No matter what others say, I will stand firmly by your side. You knew already. Listening to Pietro's words, watching Pietro make up his mind after struggling. Wanda also thought that he had discovered that he had a crush on Su Che, his future husband from a parallel world. There is an unusual feeling that Pietro discovered. I thought that the reason Pietro was struggling was because he was only 14 years old. I'm not stupid. We grew up together. How could I not see it? After the words were spoken, Pietro felt a lot more relaxed. On the contrary, Wanda was silent for a moment, then smiled and said, let's talk about the future, I'm still young, just wait. All right, anyway, I respect you as a big brother. Hey, Pietro, remember, I'm the older sister. While talking, the twins walked towards the classroom with different misunderstandings. On the other side, in the car, Natasha Romanoff, come to shield immediately, something is wrong, it's about Su Che. Listen to the serious tone of Nick Fury on the other end of the phone. Natasha Romanoff, who had a relaxed expression, stepped on the accelerator instantly and drove towards the place where the Quinjet fighter was. Well, whoever made Natasha Romanoff Wanda and Pietro's guardian was in New York. In the headquarters of the Shield Trident Building, in Washington, D.C. Trident Building Headquarters. Natasha Romanoff, who hurried back in a Quinjet fighter, followed Nick Fury's instructions all the way to the 17th floor, the research room of the Trident building. Boss, what happened? Looking at Nick Fury standing outside the clear glass, observing the research laboratory. Natasha Romanoff asked, Remember what Su Che wrote in his diary, that one of the abilities named Olivia Temple, nicknamed Balrog. In the face of Nick Fury's questioning, Natasha Romanoff immediately said, Remember, according to Sus' description in the diary, Olivia Temple guessed that it was an enemy from a different dimension. At the same time, it has the ability to confuse others, according to what is said in the diary. The more evil a person is in his heart, the more he will be seduced by Olivia Temple. Listening to Natasha Romanoff's answer, Nick Fury nodded with a serious expression. A report was also delivered to Natasha Romanoff. Didn't Su Che be attacked two days ago? According to what he told you after you confessed your identity as an S.H.I.E.L.D. agent. A man who is bewitched by Olivia Temple is no longer human. I asked Hill to lead someone to bring back the attacker who was turned into a mummy by Su Che, and let the experimenters conduct research. It was found that there was nothing unusual. Having said that, Nick Fury stared seriously at the guy in the laboratory who was being dissected at the moment. According to Su Che's diary, Olivia Temple can draw energy from jewelry. So since Su Che was attacked, I had the S.H.I.E.L.D. satellite monitor jewelry stores all over New York. Sure enough, just last night, a jewelry store on 7th Street in New York was attacked. This is the guy who raided an entire jewelry store by himself. When the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent near New York was sent by me to arrest him. This guy is extremely strong against ability. It took a lot of money to kill him and bring him back. Turning his head, he looked at Natasha Romanoff. Romanoff was reading the report. Nick Fury said seriously, the heart and the head are the two fatal weaknesses of the common people, and it is useless to hit him. It was one of the detectives who accidentally hit the back of his neck when he shot, and he was killed on the spot. Heart, 
liver, spleen, lung and kidney are all gone. Looking at what was shown in the report, dissect this, bewitched, corpse. It was found that this guy didn't have any internal organs of ordinary people in the corpse. Instead, it was a three meter long bloodthirsty mouth parts that looked like a tongue, with densely packed dozens of sharp teeth. Natasha Romanoff frowned and asked Nick Fury, what is this tongue-like thing? It seems that even the vampires in Legendary are not so disgusting. It's not clear yet, the experimenter is testing. As for whether bloodthirsty, or whether the tongue projected from the mouth is also contagious, whether it can transform the common people into their own kind. And whether there are other weaknesses besides the cervical spine in the neck, we don't know anything at this time. Having said that, Nick Fury looked at Natasha Romanoff and said seriously, just like what Sue said, people transformed by Olivia Temple ability can no longer be called human beings. More like a humanoid monster. If this monster has the ability to transform common people, then Natasha Romanoff, you should be able to imagine the degree of threat it will cause. Facing Nick Fury's extremely serious expression, Natasha Romanoff said with an equally serious expression, I've seen the Resident Evil movie and the comics about the big events in the DC zombie universe shot a few years ago. Once you are bitten or scratched like a zombie, you will also become a zombie. I'm afraid it won't be long before the whole of New York will be reduced to a living hell. So I understand what you mean, I will go to Sue immediately and have a serious talk with him. Whether Marvel is a movie universe or comics, there are DC Comics, and the same DC Comics seem to have Marvel Comics, definitely, the latter is not sure. Because apart from some classic DC Comics, I haven't read more DC Universe Comics. Closing parenthesis. Watching Natasha Romanoff has realized the seriousness of the matter. Nick Fury nodded. That's why I called you back. Natasha Romanoff, Sue once wrote in his diary that among all the superheroes in the entire Avengers Alliance, your position in his heart is different. Plus, with Sus' identity, he knows the seriousness of the matter, so I believe you will be able to convince him. I'll go now. Nodding solemnly, Natasha Romanoff was just about to return the report to Nick Fury. But I saw Nick Fury shaking his head, take this report. Now this matter is except for the researchers in the laboratory. Only you, me, and he'll know. Nick, are you suspicious of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I get it. Nodding slightly, Natasha Romanoff looked at Nick Fury. Perhaps it is true as Sue said, S.H.I.E.L.D. is not trustworthy yet. But fortunately, I am trustworthy in Sus' diary. Otherwise, according to your guess Nick, once this thing comes true, then this kind of thing will be terrible. However, I really want to meet the me in Sus' world and see what kind of abilities she has, so that she can have such an important position and evaluation in the heart of a superhero like Sue. Watch as Natasha Romanoff leaves with the report. Maria Hill pushed the door open and walked in. Hill, how are your preparations going? Seeing Hill approaching, Nick Fury asked with a serious expression. It's almost ready. According to the test by Dr. Shield, he still has vital signs. After thawing, his vital signs are returning to normal. I just don't know when I will wake up. After answering Nick Fury's question, Hill said with a little emotion, I didn't expect that we could really find this frozen legendary hero. Not to mention, it has been almost 70 years, and he is still so young, and he is still alive after being frozen for nearly 70 years. God, I simply suspect that the serum that Dr. Abraham Erskine injected into the legendary hero was not a super soldier's serum. It's the serum extracted from Superman's body in the comics. Listening to Hill's emotion, Nick Fury didn't say much. Indeed, it was discovered from the records in Su Che's diary. When Steve Rogers, the legendary who had been frozen in sleep for nearly 70 years, was still alive. Nick Fury felt a little incredible. Then, using the power and technology of S.H.I.E.L.D., they searched frantically at the North Pole mentioned in Su Che's diary. Unexpectedly, it was actually found. After hearing the news, Nick Fury immediately asked people to bring back the frozen and sleeping Steve Rogers. At the same time, let Hill start preparations, and start to restore a scene of the building in that year. Well, Nick Fury is also worried, this superhero who has been sleeping for nearly 70 years. Wouldn't be able to accept awakening coming, half a century has passed. Let's find a way to wake up this legendary hero with all our strength. As for the others, I think he will accept it slowly. 
Look at the humanoid being dissected in the laboratory behind the clear glass. Nick Fury said in a low voice to Hill. Well, if Steve Rogers wakes up, he really can't accept this news. In other words, it is impossible to integrate into this new world. Then send him directly to Taohulan Cafe to be with Su Che. One is the superhero who came to this world because of the destruction of the parallel world. One is Captain Legendary, who has been sleeping for 70 years and was abandoned by the original world. I believe that in this era that does not belong to them, but has to gradually integrate into this era. The two of them must have a lot in common. Well, let's not talk about it. Looking at it this way, maybe the two of them will really get along very well. New York, Peach Blossom Cafe. I think you should promote Selena to store manager. Looking at the front of the counter, Selena always keeps a sweet smile on the guests, even when the piece is dirty, she will deal with it as soon as possible. Natasha Romanoff sat opposite Su Che with a cup of coffee and said with a smile, she is the hardest working girl I have ever seen, I mean in this coffee shop. It can be seen that she is very responsible. Whether it is for customers or other things, she is very attentive. Speaking of this, Natasha Romanoff raised an eyebrow at Su Che. You should know that the other girls in the store, including some female customers who approached you, are just to lure you to the bedroom and want to try the mysterious oriental lash. Only Selena wants to become a store manager and is working hard for it. Hearing what Natasha Romanoff said, Su Che glanced at Selena who was standing inside the counter, smiling at the customers who came to buy coffee. Then he nodded, that's true. After the account reconciliation is completed at the end of the month, it belongs to Selena's longing for the position of store manager. Maybe I will hand it over to her. But before that, are you sure you came here today to talk to me about this? Looking at Natasha Romanoff while holding a coffee, tell me, what do you want me to do this time, if it's a collaboration with S.H.I.E.L.D., then forget it. Like I said, I don't trust the current S.H.I.E.L.D. After speaking, Su Che picked up the coffee and took a sip. In fact, hand-ground black coffee has no added sugar and tastes a bit sour and bitter. Most people really can't accept it. But if you can accept this taste, then the unique burnt aroma of black coffee is really memorable. Instead of cooperating with S.H.I.E.L.D., we discovered the humanoid monster you mentioned last time. After handing over the information to Su Che, Natasha Romanoff's expression became serious again from the joke just now. Su, you should be the one who knows this kind of humanoid monster best, after all you are the first to come into contact with it. I don't know if you've seen the Resident Evil movie, we're not sure if this humanoid monster is contagious right now. After all, the kind of tongue-like mouthparts that can be spit out from the mouth are too scary. Once a monster like this is contagious, it can turn common people into monsters like them. Then I'm afraid it won't be long before this world will completely fall. After speaking, he looked at Su Che who was flipping through the report he had brought. Natasha Romanoff said solemnly, I know you don't trust S.H.I.E.L.D., and that's okay. But I hope you can trust me. In August, the warm sunshine shines on the body through the transparent glass. It makes people feel warm. But sitting in the coffee shop by the window, Su Che could feel a chill at this moment. If it wasn't for this dissected Olivia Temples, men, created it herself. Then I really thought that I had traveled to the Blood Clan movie world. Well, although I know what's going on. But it's clear that SHIELD's analysis has gone too far. In particular, the anatomical pictures are accompanied by a detailed analysis report. The three meter long mouthparts covered with sharp teeth, as well as dissected pictures. Even the most important remarks in the report. It has not yet been analyzed whether it is highly contagious. In order to prevent accidents, once it is found to be contagious, it is recommended to take the highest level of prevention. Anyone who has been in contact with it can use physical methods to deal with it if necessary. Well, what is the physical way to deal with it? To put it simply, it is anyone who has come into contact with Olivia Temple's subordinates. In order to prevent infection, the best option is to eliminate directly. Closing the report in his hand, Su Che looked at Natasha Romanoff and asked, where did you catch this person who was bewitched by the Balrog? Inside a jewelry store on 7th Street. Facing Su Che, Natasha Romanoff told all the known news without any hesitation. Unnecessary. After hearing the news from Natasha Romanoff, 
Su Che said, let go of that poor clerk who was locked up by you last night. As for what you are most worried about, the thing that was bewitched by Olivia Temple and turned into a humanoid monster in the name of evolution is actually not contagious. It won't be like zombies, after common people are scratched or bitten, they will assimilate into zombies. The mouthparts covered with sharp teeth in the report are just the weapons of that kind of humanoid monster. Except for Olivia Temple originally, his other subordinates don't have the ability to bewitch. Having said that, Su Che paused. The coffee in my hand felt a little cold. It was placed directly on the table. In fact, Olivia Temple is able to turn people into that humanoid monster. On the one hand, he can use his spiritual power to create extremely evil scenes in the spiritual world of the bewitched person. Then he can arouse the evil thoughts in the heart of the evil person and amplify them infinitely. After these people's spiritual thoughts are controlled and they become the so-called believers of Olivia Temple. He will put a trace of flowing, magma, on his body, well, let's call it magma for the time being, because it is very similar, but I don't know what it is. This is a substance that has never existed on the earth. After dissolving this peeled, magma, in water and drinking it by his followers. Those believers will, evolve, into the guy you captured, becoming a humanoid monster. Returning the report to Natasha Romanoff, Su Che glanced at the cold coffee. After thinking about it, he picked it up and took a sip. It is not good to waste the business in your own store. This humanoid monster only knows to obey the orders of Olivia Temple. And without any pain or fear, it can be said to be his best tool man who can be discarded at any time. Weaknesses such as the brain, heart, etc. that are fatal to the common people have no effect on this humanoid monster. The only weakness is the cervical spine. Once the cervical spine is penetrated or cut off, the monster will lose its vitality. Hearing Su Che tell himself everything, Natasha Romanoff put away the report and asked seriously, Nasu, what should we do next? The whole city of supervisors. Facing Natasha Romanoff's inquiry, Su Che pondered for a moment. I don't know what the price for Olivia Temple to come to this world across dimensions. But obviously, compared to before, his strength has been weakened a lot. It can be seen from the fact that there was only one humanoid monster last night. Otherwise, according to his ability, you should have faced hundreds of monsters last night. Having said that, Su Che fixed his gaze on Natasha Romanoff's eyes. Humanoid monsters are easy to deal with. As long as the cervical spine is amputated, they will lose their vitality. However, there is one thing. Although Olivia Temple has lost most of her abilities, she is not something that the current shield can defeat. Natasha Romanoff, I don't trust S.H.I.E.L.D., but, I trust you. Looking at Natasha Romanoff, Su Che's eyes were full of trust at the moment. It's as if the eyes are not looking at Natasha Romanoff, but looking at the partner who has lived and died together countless times in memory. Well, that's the benefit of system simulation. Otherwise, even the most powerful actor, in front of a professional agent like Natasha Romanoff. It will also show its feet. If you can't kill Olivia Temple before she fully recovers. Perhaps, this time the Earth will face big trouble. Facing the look in Su Che's eyes at this moment, Natasha Romanoff, who had already seen various big scenes, felt an inexplicable tremor in her heart at this moment. Although the words in front of me are speaking to myself. But Natasha Romanoff can feel that the eyes of absolute trust, the trust that is so heavy that she is even willing to give her back to herself, is not for herself. But to someone he once knew, the one named Natasha Romanoff Romanoff. Flashed through my mind, mentioned in the Black Gold Diary. Su Che's affection for Natasha Romanoff. Originally thought that he already knew enough about the parallel world, and that Natasha Romanoff had a lot in his heart. But now it seems. After all, I still underestimated that heavy feeling. What the hell did Natasha Romanoff from that alternate universe do? Only then can the guy in front of him have the trust that he is willing to entrust his life. Inexplicably, Natasha Romanoff was a little envious of herself in the parallel world in the diary. Perhaps, this is why in the black gold diary, the parallel world self. In the end, I would rather give up my life than bring back the lost ones. What I long for all my life seems to have really come true in the parallel world. Taking a long breath, he forcibly dispelled the feeling in his heart. 
As a professional agent, Natasha Romanoff knows that this is not the time to express her emotions and emotions. It's just that even she didn't notice it, the voice that asked Suche was inexplicably astringent. Sour. Or bitter. Who knows. If. I mean if. Facing Su Che, Natasha Romanoff asked softly, if the Olivia temple you mentioned is fully restored. So how terrifying is he? And besides monitoring jewelry stores all over the city, what other preparations do we need to do? As a professional agent, Natasha Romanoff must ask clearly about the enemies she will face. Even if, she really wanted to call Nick Fury right now and ask him to follow Su Che's arrangement. How terrifying would it be if Olivia Temple regained her full strength? Facing Natasha Romanoff's question, Su Che leaned back on the seat, his gaze seemed to flash a flash of memory. Once, I faced Olivia Stein's believers with my, my friend. Can you imagine facing thousands of monsters who lose their minds and are like zombies in your mouth, with disgusting but sharp and deadly mouthparts? I've experienced it myself. Looking at Natasha Romanoff, Su Che said softly, that battle finally forced us to use the ultimate power to lift a whole piece of mountain land into the air, and finally detonate and destroy it at high altitude. Actually, I don't know how strong Olivia Temple's ability was in its heyday, a self-proclaimed messenger of the gods. But I have repelled him more than once and sent him back to another dimension. The only pity is that I have not been able to completely kill him on earth. But this time, I'm not going to let him go. Looking into Natasha Romanoff's eyes again, Su Che's expression was serious at this moment. You don't know my past, and S.H.I.E.L.D. can't investigate my past. But that's okay, one day you'll find out. But before that, Natasha Romanoff, I need you to inform Nick Fury. If you don't want the whole of New York to become an ocean, if you don't want this city with a population of nearly 10 million to completely sink into an ocean, then, don't make any small moves. Even if you want to capture monsters for research, you can't make preparations to prevent similar situations from happening in the future. Shut up SHIELD's curiosity in the face of special events, and also warn the military in disaster management in New York. Sometimes the heavy price is absolutely unacceptable to them. Listen to Su Che's words of warning. Natasha Romanoff nodded slightly. Obviously, Natasha Romanoff can feel unprecedented seriousness and seriousness from Su Che's words. At the same time, what Su Che just said, he and his friends, should be referring to the Avengers in the parallel world. But what do the last few sentences mean? Su Che once said in his diary more than once that the current shield is not trustworthy. And then added the military and the disaster management agency. Could it be that these two departments also have forces that Su Che doesn't trust at all? Moreover, it seems that the Disaster Management Bureau has not yet been established. Well, that's what I said to myself on purpose, so that I could remind Nick Fury. Or has Su Che forgotten that the current so-called post-disaster management bureau is actually just an empty shelf? Tisk. However, Shield is not to be trusted if it is related to what Su Che wrote in his diary. Then, this thing is really interesting. It is simply full of information. I'm going to tell Nick Fury the whole thing, including your warning. Looking at Su Che, Natasha Romanoff nodded. I think Nick should understand the importance of this matter. If there are no accidents, this time I should be fully cooperating with you on behalf of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm looking forward to fighting side by side. Looking at Natasha Romanoff, Su Che's voice was slightly soft. It seemed like he was talking about something that he had been looking forward to for a long time. I am looking forward to. Looking at Su Che, Natasha Romanoff answered very seriously. From the beginning, she didn't intentionally ask why Su Che knew that the current director of S.H.I.E.L.D. was Nick Fury. In fact, after three trials. Although not comprehensive, Natasha Romanoff also believes that there is no need to test again and again. Anyway, she is willing to believe that Su Che is a superhero from a parallel world. As for whether Nick Fury is still with a trace of doubt. Natasha Romanoff said it doesn't matter. After all, when did the guy Nick Fury trust a thing 100%? Well, Hill is an exception. Ten minutes later, in the car. Yes, from now on I will give you the authority and personnel to monitor the whole city, and you can cooperate with Su Che in any action. Listening to Natasha Romanoff's report, Nick Fury didn't have any hesitation at all. 
As for the military, I'll let someone handle it. Speaking of this, Nick Fury pinched the center of his brows with some headaches. That's it, Natasha Romanoff, just cooperate with Sue. Although Sue doesn't currently trust S.H.I.E.L.D., this is the key to improving your trust with him. Perhaps after this matter is over, we can obtain some useful information through Sue. Clear. Nodding emphatically, Natasha Romanoff knows what Nick Fury is talking about. The information he said was just to be confirmed by Sue Chase solemnly. The so-called current S.H.I.E.L.D. is not trustworthy. After all, it is because S.H.I.E.L.D. has other parties or its own forces in S.H.I.E.L.D. Or, the reason S.H.I.E.L.D. is truly untrustworthy. Because of HYDRA. And Natasha Romanoff knows, Nick Fury is already on the verge of the latter. After hanging up the video call, Nick Fury leaned back in his seat and frowned. He has seen too many storms and waves, and he is inexplicably tired at this moment. Tisk. From Natasha Romanoff's report just now, it's not hard to hear, whether it's the empty post-disaster reconstruction agency or the people on Ross's side. It seems that there is that faint shadow. Does that mean that since that shadow can infiltrate S.H.I.E.L.D. in these departments? So can it penetrate into other industries? What about Congress? What about the World Security Council? What about high-level executives from all walks of life? Hadn't HYDRA been wiped out long ago? Although there are still some HYDRA hidden here and there in the corners of this world. However, if it is said that they have infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D. or the senior management of various industries. Well Nick Fury really doesn't want to believe it. But, except for this kind of speculation, Nick Fury couldn't think of the reason. That's why Su Che distrusts the current S.H.I.E.L.D. so much. Pick up the phone and want to call Alexander Pierce, the former director of S.H.I.E.L.D. and the current secretary general of S.H.I.E.L.D. But just as he picked up the phone, he put it down again. Although, I don't want to doubt Alexander Pierce. However, if it is really like what Su Che recorded in the Black Gold Diary. In case S.H.I.E.L.D. has been infiltrated by HYDRA. Then is the former S.H.I.E.L.D. director with great ability, Alexander Pierce. What role does he play in it? After all, Pierce, who has controlled S.H.I.E.L.D. for more than 10 years, has a very good ability. If he didn't realize it at all, then Nick Fury would rather believe that the world will end tomorrow. Can't imagine this thing. However, as the king of agents, as the master of S.H.I.E.L.D., but Nick Fury knew that this matter might really have something to do with Alexander Pierce. No matter how much I trust him. However, there are some things that you must do yourself. Heaving a sigh of relief, Nick Fury picked up the phone and asked when Captain America Steve Rogers would wake up. Perhaps, wait for these two people who were also abandoned by the world to get together. Then many things should be solved. Compared to this, the villain Olivia Temple in New York is not important. Nick Fury believes that Su Che, the Avenger of the Parallel World, has the ability to solve this matter. As long as S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't mess with it. In the evening, New York, S.H.I.E.L.D. monitors the entire city base. So, this is what you wear when you fight. Looking at a gorgeous silver and white cloak armor, the face is only covered with a visor covering the eyes. But I couldn't tell what Su Che looked like. This surprised Natasha Romanoff. As a professional agent, Natasha Romanoff can't say she has a photographic memory. But after being in contact with Su Che for more than two months, Su Che's face has long been engraved in his heart. How could he not recognize him just by wearing a handsome visor? But the reality is, the Su Che in front of him just covered the area around his eyes. But I have a very strange feeling. This surprised Natasha Romanoff. This visor has a vision function. As long as you wear this visor, others will not be able to tell the face of the visor's owner. Well, it's similar to the glasses of Superman in the comics, except that Superman relies on his own ability, and the glasses are just decorations. Seeing Natasha Romanoff's surprised look, Su Che explained. This outfit is an extra gift from the system. As a superhero, how can you do without a handsome outfit? You can't face super villains in normal clothes. It's very out of style. It's really convenient. Hearing Su Che's explanation, Natasha Romanoff nodded. It will be much more convenient for you in the future, at least you don't have to worry about being recognized after saving the world. It's also because there are too few Avengers Alliance, superheroes. Leaning in front of the cabinet with Natasha Romanoff, arms folded, watching several staff members in front of the monitor the whole of New York through dozens of screens. 
Su Che said softly. On the one hand, superhero is just a job identity, and it's best to separate work from personal life. On the other hand, there are too few superheroes now, and if a superhero appears by chance, then the common people can't help but want to dig and disturb because of their novelty hunting mentality. Unnecessarily, it will cause a lot of trouble. But it will be fine in the future. When there are more superheroes and common people are used to it, maybe there is no need to hide their identity. Listening to Su Che's talk from experience, Natasha Romanoff nodded slightly. In Natasha Romanoff's mind, Su Che must be very experienced in this area. After all, they had been Avengers for more than 10 years before the destruction of the parallel world. So it is absolutely correct to listen to him in this regard. Work is work and life is life. If they get mixed up and cannot be distinguished, I am afraid that my life will also become a mess. This is what Natasha Romanoff had in mind. I also don't like being disturbed by various tasks in my daily life. I thought you'd come with two cups of coffee. Looking at Su Che with folded arms and a smile, Natasha Romanoff shrugged and said, After all, it's already past 10 o'clock, and no one knows when the disaster of unrest will happen tonight. And you are so convenient as the owner of the coffee shop, it's really unreasonable not to bring a few cups of coffee to refresh yourself. You have coffee here. Looking at the coffee cups placed in front of the staff, Su Che turned his head and asked Natasha Romanoff. Come on, it's the instant one. Leaning against the cabinet speechlessly, Natasha Romanoff spread her hands and said, I don't know why, SHIELD's logistics side can save more and more money now. When I was first brought into SHIELD by Barton, both the work meals and the coffee were the best. But now, the late night work meal has become a simple sandwich, and the coffee is the kind that is instant in a bag. Sometimes even the application for funds is greatly discounted. It is clear that SHIELD can apply for a large sum of money from the World Security Council every year. But Nick Fury is getting more and more stingy. You know, even the dinners and breakfasts I make for Wanda and Pietro will enrich the food according to the body they need now. But SHIELD's late night work meal is just a few sandwiches. Can you believe it? Listening to Natasha Romanoff's complaints, Su Che didn't speak. Natasha Romanoff's complaints should correspond to the fact that Nick Fury embezzled the money and is building a moon base. This is not a small project, and it cannot be known to too many people. That's why Natasha Romanoff feels that Nick Fury is getting more and more stingy. How are Wanda and Pietro doing now? As if chatting, Su Che intentionally or unintentionally asked about Wanda and Pietro's current living conditions. Although I know that the reason why Wanda and Pietro appeared in New York was that they were adopted by the widow sister and became their guardians. A large reason is caused by the stories I compiled in my diary. But, even so, Su Che had to pretend not to know, and then asked Natasha Romanoff, inadvertently. Turning her head to look at Su Che, Natasha Romanoff smiled. It's okay, although these two little guys are only 14 years old, they still have a trace of hostility in their hearts. But it may have something to do with their experience. But it doesn't matter, as the warm daily life gradually fills up the vacancy in their hearts, I believe they will become better. Wanda is still relatively well behaved, and her academic performance is pretty good. As for Pietro, he has a lot of ideas. Although his grades are not very good, his athletic ability is not bad. Having said that, Natasha Romanoff turned her head to look at Su Che and said with a smile, Wanda and Pietro will have their birthdays in a few days. As the guardian sister, I have to make some preparations. The two little ones haven't had a birthday since their parents passed away. So, since I am their guardian and their elder sister now, then this kind of thing should naturally be done by me. Before Natasha Romanoff could finish speaking, the S.H.I.E.L.D. staff sitting in the chairs in front were in charge of monitoring the whole city through dozens of screens. Immediately said, Sir, something unusual happened. Hearing what the staff said, Natasha Romanoff and Su Che looked at each other. He immediately walked to the monitor. Sir, according to surveillance, riots broke out on Fifth Avenue, Brooklyn, Queens, and Braun at almost the same time. Look at the situation displayed on the monitor. The person in charge of monitoring quickly reported to Natasha Romanoff, the people who attacked the jewelry store clashed with some guards and even gang members. In addition, sir, these attackers are very fast, and they escaped almost immediately after they succeeded. 
And based on the escape routes they chose from all directions, we simulated an attacker's final location. With that said, the person in charge of monitoring directly called up a holographic road map. On the road map, the red dot symbolizing the attacker at this moment is rushing towards the same target at an extremely fast speed. Look at the simulated location based on the attacker's escape route. Natasha Romanoff immediately turned to look at Su Che. Although Nick is getting more and more stingy now, I think he should be willing to give compensation if there is an accidental damage. Yes, according to the direction in which those red dots on the hologram are gathering. Impressively, it is the direction of Su Che's Tauhulan Cafe. Well, across from Stark Industries. Seeing that the final location was determined, Su Che's eyes were concentrated, and a trace of murderousness exuded from his body. Olivia Temple should come here again, this time, I will completely eliminate him here. Then I'll go drive. Feeling the murderous aura emanating from Su Che, Natasha Romanoff immediately stood up and prepared to act. Too slow. Walking out of the room with Natasha Romanoff, Su Che said in a deep voice, hold on to me. Although I don't know what Su Che wants to do. But Natasha Romanoff grabbed Su Che's arm without hesitation. Following Natasha Romanoff's movements, a cloud of white rose from under the two of them. Then the cloud and mist seemed to be solidified, and the two of them rose into the sky directly. In the air, as if the solid clouds soared up. Almost in the blink of an eye, a long pale blue water bridge appeared in front of the two of them. Condensed clouds and mist fell on the water bridge, and the light blue water bridge flowed extremely fast in the next second. The powerful kinetic energy generated by the extremely fast-flowing water bridge made the two of them fly towards the Tauhulan Cafe. If it wasn't for Natasha Romanoff holding Su Che's arm, Su Che's waist would also be held by Su Che. Then the huge amounts of inertia may directly make Natasha Romanoff fall backwards from the air. Are all your abilities so convenient? In the air, experience the water bridge flowing under your feet as if it were real. That feeling is as novel as gliding on ice at extreme speed. Natasha Romanoff ignored the gust of wind whizzing past her ears, and then said to Su Che, if I had your kind of ability, then I wouldn't even need to fly a Quinjet fighter jet for missions in the future. Inside Shield. Look at the pictures sent back from the Shield satellite in space. Nick Fury had a serious expression, but Maria Hill said, this ability is really convenient. If every one of our Shield agents knows this ability, then the money left over from the annual budget alone is enough to add a few important parts to our moon base. Listening to Hill's banter, Nick Fury looked into the frame. The water bridge flowing in front of the two of them continued to appear out of thin air, as if a passage had been opened in the air. Nick Fury said in a deep voice, has Ross been notified? The notice has been issued. Although it is not from a department, Ross will obviously not send people from the military to make trouble. At the same time, the police department has also communicated in the name of S.H.I.E.L.D. At least until the matter is over, those people will not attack rashly for no reason. Having said that, Maria Hill looked at Nick Fury and said, but even though it's already 10 o'clock in the evening, there are still many people and vehicles on the street. So if there is no accident, this big event should be recorded. When these people face the danger of sudden changes and choose to call the police as soon as possible, if there are no national guards and people from the police station at the scene. Nick, I fear they will face public accountability after the fact. Hearing Hill's words, Nick Fury gave her a noncommittal look. They were held accountable, what does it have to do with this shield? Although we took the initiative to communicate with them about this matter, shield, so that they don't have to intervene. However, if the pressure of public accountability is given to them, it will be given to them. Let's just stay invisible. Listen to what Nick Fury has said. Hill is used to it. Yeah, there's the pressure of public accountability on both sides of them. What does this have to do with us, S.H.I.E.L.D.? Everyone is not in the same system. If there is a panic, someone must take the blame. Then if you don't take the blame, who will take the blame? What? S.H.I.E.L.D. keeping them out. Hey, how many people in the public know about the existence of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Maybe people thought it was a department you deliberately made up to shirk responsibility. As for if something like this happens again in the future, will the two departments not cooperate? Ah, just kidding. By the way, Nick, if Su Che's Peach Blossom Forest Cafe is damaged in a fierce battle later, do we, S.H.I.E.L.D., need compensation? 
Looking at Nick Fury, Maria Hill asked, According to the data, Tauhulan Cafe doesn't seem to have any insurance measures. Definitely need compensation. With a rare laugh, Nick Fury said, Although the post-disaster reconstruction department has not been formally determined, it is just an empty shelf. But this is the first time that SHIELD's jurisdiction has faced a big event. In addition, Su Che is one of the targets we want to recruit, so we SHIELD have to show some responsibility. And how do we make money without compensation? Quote. Just pay according to the store's highest standard. You should remember this matter. Afterwards, don't forget to apply for compensation from the World Security Council for the compensation amount of SHIELD. Still according to the previous rules, should SHIELD keep 90% of the compensation amount reported 10 times? Listening to Nick Fury, Maria Hill nodded. That's fine, otherwise every few days I would always forge weapons and equipment. The Quinjet fighter jets would be damaged in missions, and aerospace aircraft carrier maintenance, and the research and development costs of the dark matter research base. Quote. After a long time, the World Security Council will become suspicious. Well, as Nick Fury's right-hand man. For the money of the Security Council of the Underworld, Maria Hill has already done it extremely skillfully. Who told her that she was sent by the World Security Council to supervise Nick Fury? At the same time, the streets of Manhattan. Although it is already past 10 o'clock in the evening, the streets are still full of people and traffic. Just as the pedestrians were enjoying the quiet night, the ground suddenly shook in the next second. Before everyone could react, the originally flat and wide road exploded and shattered with a boom. Immediately, a wave of heat gushed out from the ground. Dark red, Magma-like things continuously sprang out of the hole, and quickly began to corrode everything around. Then, a three-meter-tall man with curved horns on his head, and his whole body was covered with dark red magma. A demon-like monster jumped out of the ground. This sudden scene frightened many people around. Especially after seeing that demon-like thing in mythology jumping out from the ground. Some timid people were so scared that they hid in the corner and their legs were weak, while more people screamed and ran away in a panic. Oh my god. Inside the cafe. Seeing this scene, Selena subconsciously widened her eyes. Originally, she was on the day shift and didn't have to work here at night. But a waiter broke up with her because of something. I originally thought that the cafe would close at 11 o'clock at night. From 5 o'clock in the afternoon to 11 o'clock, Without being busy during the day, plus the daytime salary, I can get two days salary by myself. Unexpectedly, this situation happened to me now. God. He stared wide-eyed at the devil-like guy with horns on the street not far away. Selena felt that her legs were a little weak. The doomsday has come. The demons from hell that are said in the Bible have come to the world. The doomsday has come, but I haven't become the store manager yet. Look at the guy who seems to have magma flowing all over his body. The first thought in Selena's mind was that the doomsday was coming and the demons would recover. Immediately afterwards, there was an extremely strong unwillingness to become the manager of the coffee shop. Especially watching this, demon, wielding a huge flaming chain. With just one blow, the cars on both sides of the road were smashed, and then there was a violent explosion, even after the glass of the coffee shop was shattered. Selena collapsed to the ground, her eyes full of despair. There were screams of fear and escape from outside. Selena felt that she was completely dead now. Especially when I saw dozens of disgusting guys with terrifying appearances and long tongues sticking out of their mouths surrounding that demon. From time to time, you can still hear that monster-like, creepy roar. Selena's tears of despair flowed down involuntarily. God, the end is coming. Just when Selena was full of helplessness, despair, and unwillingness to face death before becoming a store manager. In the sky, an extremely gorgeous light blue water bridge appeared out of thin air. Immediately, a superhero dressed in white battle armor, with a silver white cloak on his shoulders and a savior with his feet on the clouds, descended from the sky with a woman in his arms. The moment it landed, the superhero with the white cloak on his shoulders waved his hand, and dozens of ice arrows emitting a cold light attacked the group of monsters. And those monsters surrounding the demon rushed towards the two people on the ground with long, terrifying and disgusting mouthparts. Seeing this scene, Selena's originally desperate eyes exuded a look of hope at this moment. Wait, this superhero who looks like a savior, 
fell from the sky with a woman in his arms. Inexplicably, seeing this scene, Selena even forgot her fear. An extremely weird idea appeared in my mind out of thin air. Is the current savior playing like this? As soon as this idea came out, Selena immediately drove it out. At the same time, he got up from the ground regardless of his weak legs, and hurriedly dragged a little girl, and at the same time called the screaming and wailing customers in the store to hide behind the counter. There is the appearance of a savior from heaven, the superhero. Then people like myself can't die, right? Since you can't die, you must do your duty. This is the quality that a potential store manager should have. He dragged the little girl and ran blindly to hide behind the counter as he lost his mind because of his voice. Curled up like an ostrich, there are some praying customers. Selena quietly stretched out her head and looked outside. Hem, never mind if the savior showed up with his arms around a woman. But, he is really amazing. The ice arrows scattered casually pierced the necks of those monsters with long mouthparts. The whole person is like flowing water, calmly and continuously harvesting the lives of those monsters. Even the woman who was hugged by him just now was extremely sassy and kept attacking those monsters with two guns. Etc. Why does that woman with long red hair look so familiar? Dot dot. Isn't that Natasha Romanoff who used to work here part time and quit, but has a very good relationship with the boss? Depend on. Seeing Natasha Romanoff holding two guns, she was like a heroic female warrior at the moment, constantly shooting at the monster. Selena's eyes widened. Unexpectedly, Natasha Romanoff, who is beautiful and has a hot body. It's so powerful. Etc. She has a good relationship with her boss, so could the savior who fell from the sky with her arms around her be her boss. He stared curiously at the superhero in the silver moon cloak. Looking at him, he didn't know when a long sword made of pure ice appeared in his hand. But the appearance is a bit strange. Although the figure is very similar, but it does not look like his own boss. Wait, my god, he actually cut off the head of a monster with one sword. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.